Minority stress really describes the effect of prejudice and stigma on LGBT people. And what research has shown is because of the exposure that LGBT people have to homophobia and transphobia, they suffer more stressful events, for example, a violence or, or being fired from a job, uh, discrimination, things like that. And in turn, this creates more health problems like uh, depression, anxiety, substance use, many physical disorders like asthma or other disabilities, as well as suicide risk. We've found over years of research that LGBT populations have much higher rates of all of those disorders compared with straight cisgender individuals. I recently edited a special issue of a journal uh, that is called Psychology of Sexual Orientation and Gender Diversity. The purpose of it was to try to fill this gap in the research that has focused so much on understanding the social stressors, but less so on understanding the coping and resilience. We're interested not only in the negative effects that the stressors have, but also in the positive impact on the health that uh, coping and resilience have. One of uh, the examples is an article that started to look at how do we intervene? How, what kind of programs can we offer for youth who are maybe confronting homophobia and transphobia? And this particular paper reports on a study that looked at gay straight alliance clubs, which are present in many schools, as a way to create a intervention. And it showed that the students who participated in it, they had some success, and that is a, a one promising venue for intervening with youth. Resilience is not something that we should think of as only something that resides in the person. It's not enough that we have resilient or strong people. It's also important, and sometimes more important, that we provide people, whether they're strong or not strong, with a strong support in the environment. So we call this structural resilience. And a lot of the efforts that we at the Williams Institute and other organizations have been working on are actually the kind of things that change policies that create structural changes that make the environment more friendly and more uh, accepting, less discriminating, and therefore healthier for LGBT people.